trying to get realism and authenticity in video games takes a lot of work, and it doesn't always work out. Hell Let Loose, though, is a game that aims to bring the chaotic nature of war to life, and it does that pretty well. Because here, you won't just be fighting battles in World War II, you'll basically be living them. To the extent that you'll be facing fire from tanks, planes, other soldiers, and so on. All the while having your own forces advance or defend. The line of victory will move constantly as you go throughout the fight. With two groups of 50 players and accurate use of weapons and vehicles, you'll find just making it through one map difficult. Enlisted tries to put a nice spin on the first-person shooter by not just giving you a single soldier to go and control, but rather giving you a whole squad of soldiers to control. Thus how you act and command in the battlefield will have a heavy impact on what you do in the game. If you're looking for something a bit more powerful, you can lead a tank crew or be an airplane pilot in the sky, it's totally up to you. You'll get to put your skills to the test in various key battles of World War II, so you'll definitely want to try out all the various classes and such to see what works for you, and how you can get victory. The Battlefield Saga may not be as beloved as its famous counterpart in Call of Duty, but that doesn't mean that they don't deliver beautiful war games when they really focus on it. Battlefield 1 is a great example of this as they hearken back to the Great War in order to showcase all the different ways that battles took place. You'll go to places like France, the Alps, and even to the Arabian deserts to see all the many fronts of the war that truly consumed the world. Then, you can jump into the multiplayer matches and see what it's like to have 64 players' battles raging on an ever-changing map. In the game squad, it's really not about who has the best firepower, it's about who is willing to work together to overcome the odds and claim victory. Because here, you'll be doing 50v50 matches with players divided up into squads so that they can try to pull off various tactics and maneuvers in order to achieve victory. Communication is vital here, because if your squad does what it's supposed to or works together in conjunction with the others, then you'll get the win. You'll also be able to outfit your soldier and vehicles in certain ways to further benefit your playstyle. A perfectly placed title, Arma 3 aims to be one of the best military strategy games you ever play. Because here, you'll have a wide open island area to go and have fun in. You'll travel through cities, across hills and plains, and more in order to get to the enemy. You'll also have a wide assortment of vehicles and weapons to pick and choose from so you can up the ante and take the fight to the next level. Plus, when you're tired of the standard stuff, 
you can go into the content creators section and make your own missions and battlefields, ensuring that there is always something to go and do at Arma 3. I hear him inside. Yep, I'm contact right up Six days in Fallujah gives you a look into the battles that happened in Iraq during the recent war, and not just the standard recrafting of events, these are accounts given to you by those who were there narrating their own stories. You won't just be soldiers either, you'll be playing as civilians at times in order to fully grasp just how horrifying these battles and fights for survival were. Add to that a special system that ensures that every single time you play, meaning that the level layout will be different. Just like a soldier on the ground or a civilian trying to survive, you're going to have to adapt to survive. I'm going, Eric. Light on. Contact. Contact downstairs. Another one. Down. Yep, I got you covered on top. Right behind you, Eric. Friendly's in the living room. Friendly's living room. On the right, Eric. On the right. Nice. War Thunder lets you command hundreds of different potential vehicles in large scale battles that take place in the air on the ground or within the water. You'll need to have a true strategy to go forward with, though. You can't just pick the units and have it, other players will be fighting against you, and so if you're not ready you're going to be in trouble. Jump into War Thunder and you'll get to see how big and expansive the field of war can be. There are many people out there who wonder what would have happened if the Cold War didn't stay cold. If the various forces in the world went at it once again in a massive conflict. Well, Warno is the game that will help tell one version of how that story could have gone. Because the team behind the game have recreated the Cold War but twisted a few things. Including communism taking back over in Russia and leading to a conflict between the NATO powers and the Warsaw Pact. Now, You'll get to choose a side and use historically accurate vehicles and weapons in order to try and take the world or save it. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Sometimes, you just want to pilot a tank so you can blow things up, totally understandable thing to want to do. World of Tanks is a free MMO that'll allow you to go and wield some of the most unique and powerful tanks in the history of the world. You'll start out with a certain selection, and then expand your arsenal as you progress through the battles. Just remember, you're going to war with other players, and their own tanks, you'll want to ensure that you use your tank to the fullest in order to come out on top. In Sprocket, you'll be put in the eras of World War I and World War II and asked to design some of the best tanks possible. But you're not just recreating older and classic tanks, not unless you want to of course. Rather, you'll be given near complete freedom to design your tanks from scratch so that they can hit the battlefield and unleash their fury. From the hull, to the treads, to the cannon, and so on, you'll have to design to be functional and do well. Keyword here is functional, you can't just go crazy with your designs, as that might hurt the functionality of the vehicle. So think it through, and come up with a truly masterful tank.
The Call of Duty franchise started out in World War II and helped redefine war gaming for the better, but Call of Duty World War II goes back to its roots while also embracing the modern technology that we all enjoy. Case in point, while you will be in the European theater and redoing battles like Normandy, you'll be seeing them with high definition and graphics that'll ensure that you feel the intensity and realism of combat. Then, as you go from battle to battle, you'll see the many faces of war in all their glory and horror. And of course, the Call of Duty World War II multiplayer has plenty for you to do, including the Zombies Pack. That wound looks bad! Here, take this! Thanks, bud! All right, here we go! Battlefield 5 is a first-person shooter game developed by DICE and published by Electronic Arts. It is the 16th installment in the Battlefield series and the successor to 2016's Battlefield 1. The game focused extensively on party-based features and mechanics, scarcity of resources, and removing abstractions from game mechanics to increase realism. This is the latest in a long line of strategy war titles, and Hearts of Iron is arguably one of the best of the lot. In it, you'll get to pick a country from World War II, and then guide them through the conflict. You'll not only get to control the military forces, but work to make the people happy, do negotiations and try and broker peace, and overall make the war come to the best possible end. Or you can just run roughshod over everyone and claim total victory, it's truly your call. At one point in time, the thing everyone feared more than everything else out there was nuclear missiles raining down from the sky and destroying us all. Now, in DEFCON, you'll get to be the one pushing the button to try and both do that and prevent that. In the title, you'll play as a general hidden within a bunker. Armed with the ability to launch nuclear missiles, you'll need to go and do your best to both wipe out your enemies, their ability to counterattack, and try to keep your own casualties low. This game is meant to invoke tension, you'll definitely feel it as you play. <laughs> Panzer Core 2 aims to be one of the deepest strategy war titles out there in the world right now. Not just because of all the content that it has within it, but because of how many units you can go and command, you'll be able to pick and choose from any of the major world powers and then combined have access to over 1,000 units. The campaign itself has over 60 scenarios for you to enjoy. Then, you can jump into the online field and you'll get to put your mind against others in order to see who is the best strategist. It's honestly a little bit surprising that there aren't more VR war titles out there. Possibly because if you don't do it right the immersion is lost. Well, Pavlov VR does what it can to make the immersion real, really fun, and really expansive. Because here we have another game where the point is going and communicating with your fellow players in order to come out on top. Not to mention, you'll be able to go to eras in the modern time and in places like World War II to have your fights. And if you're into modding, the game supports that too.
Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 will have you playing as the Mysterious Raven, a sniper who is the best at completing contracts. Your job this time around is to head to a lawless part of the Middle East and go deep into enemy territory so you can slowly but surely wipe out a criminal syndicate that lives there. Make no mistake, there are no easy shots in Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts too. You'll need to use the terrain, Raven skills, and your own judgment to try and get things done. It's honestly hard to pick apart the Call of Duty franchise. Don't get us wrong, when they do something wrong, they do it really wrong. But, even in those times, the core gameplay is almost always solid, as Call of Duty Vanguard proves. In the main campaign you'll play as a set of soldiers from across the Allied nations, who have been caught and you'll relive their adventures up until their capture. Then, you'll dive into the multiplayer and enjoy all the various modes that make Call of Duty fans happy, including the Zombies mode. So whether you want a deep story, or just want to have fun with friends only, Call of Duty Vanguard has you covered. Tannenberg is one of a line of war titles that seeks to be authentic and massive in all the ways that matter. Not the least of which is having huge 64-player battles across large battlefields. You'll need to both venture out on your own and work with other players in order to control key parts of the battlefield and get momentum. There are also plenty of modes within the game to help give you all sorts of experiences, including the maneuver mode where you'll need to keep things going like in an active war zone. Experience the accuracy and detail of Tannenberg as you play it, because a lot of work went into making it. Isonzo is yet another thrilling FPS title from the creators of other iconic FPS historically focused games Verdun and Tannenberg. Inspired by the Battle of the Isonzo, which took place between 1915 and 1918 during World War I, this game offers another immersive wartime experience. Just as before, the developers strive to deliver historically accurate gameplay, meticulously designing the weaponry, mechanics, and war-torn locations. Set in the Alpine region, players will engage in intense battles as they fight for control over the Isonzo River Valley and the Alps. Coming from the Wolfenstein series, an heir of the Wolfenstein series that revived the entire franchise is Wolfenstein The New Order. Falling into a category of an action-adventure first-person shooter, Wolfenstein The New Order was developed by Machine Games and published by Bethesda Softworks. Wolfenstein The New Order sends the player across Europe as he feverishly attempts to stop the Nazis from conquering the entire world. The key features of Wolfenstein The New Order are an intricate storyline packed with action and adventure, intense first-person combat and up-to-par immersive soundtrack. <laughs> 